Hey guys, it's Beastar here, and we're back. Um, we're doing part two of the long ass walkthrough. Let me just continue the game and we'll pick up where we left off. I have some ice cream. You mad? Okay. <clears throat> After a long and painful journey, we walked through um, what seemed to be the uh, Boreen Tundra of Skyrim, and we got to Whiterun, where you're supposed to spread the news of your fucking whatever the fuck it was. Uh, let's just let this shit load, and then uh, I'll continue from there. Okay, as you can see, we're back in Whiterun. Where, um, apparently the Yord or something like that, that's where he's gonna be. He's not gonna be anywhere near here. We have to walk up. I changed the controls, so now they're a lot less shitty. Um, yeah. If you want to see those, uh, probably put them in the description what my binds are. So, yeah. Gotta go the long way, yeah. Now, actually, take a look at this building. This building, if you watch uh, the Lord of the Rings films, you'll realize from a distance it looks a lot like the one in the um, second movie. I'll also put a link to that, too. Now we go in here. Damn, this is a long loading screen. I think uh, Skyrim's gonna be notorious for these. Unless they release a patch or something. Get your fucking bitch ass away from me, motherfucker! You want a beef? You want a beef? Listen here, right here, you motherfucking bitch! I have news from Helgen. Come on then, the Yarl will want to speak to you personally. Alright, I ain't gonna kill your ass. You lucky, bitch. What's so, up? Oh, you were in Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Hell yeah, nigga. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen? Um, Dragon destroyed it? was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. Don't listen to her. She's a bitch. She's a bitch. Dragon is lurking in the mountains. Come on, dude. Don't listen to her. One moment. Fuck you. Stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Yeah. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. This bitch? Yes, my lord. The fuck, man? If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That what the would be fuck? Best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. I just I came to you and I got greeted by your fucking bitch ass friend. Token of my Thanks for the fucking armor, asshole. There is another thing you could do for me. What? Suitable for someone of your particular talents? Okay. Perhaps. The Come, fuck you need? Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rules of dragons. I ain't never seen an ass like that. The way you shake it, it makes my slinky go. But oing, doing, doing. Whoops. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. That would go be me. Hi. So the old thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, 
I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet. All right, by all right, it means I don't give a fuck. To the point, eh? Yeah. Tedious housing wise, I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow, a dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. All right. Uh. Okay. An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once hey, you get shut there. the fuck up. Riverwood's a nice place. Don't talk shit about well, it. You must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Alright. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm out. Off to this is a priority now. with you. The Jarl is not a patient man. I'm about to fucking make you into fucking stone, bitch. Of course, y'all, Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. All right, fine. I'm out this bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. So I'm probably gonna speed this shit up, or probably uh, skip it all together. If you guys don't like that, fuck off and don't view the video. Just, just, just deal with it, bitch. Now that you're in Riverwood, the path should be obvious now. I tried doing it the long way by not fast traveling to Riverwood and just trying to find a mountain on myself. That was a poor choice and it ended up with me 15 minutes looking around for fucking nothing. You can swim against the currents in this game, but it makes you go significantly slow. As you see, this is abandoned, but this is not where we're supposed to be. I just slapped this shit off. And now they're both fucking dead. Shouldn't have fucked with me. Good morning, bitches! Oh, he died. Sweet. We might need one of these things. Apparently, I already set his shit on fire. Let's go a little bit higher up and see what we can find. If there's any supplies, you're welcome to find these. Even though this is not strictly a part of the mission. As you can see, our search was well met with the chest. 64 gold and a torch. Even though you have no use for the torch, you can still... Just fucking have it along for shits and giggles. Like I'm gonna do right now. Oh, you're, yeah, right. It's not a weapon. Now you have your little gay ass torch you can walk around with. And we will continue our journey on our path to the fucking objective. Apparently, you can also block with your torch, which is very, very weird, but okay. Perhaps you can set your enemies on fire or something literally with a torch. Or you could just use your other fucking hand and not be a fucking retard. Either one, it doesn't really matter because it's pretty cool nonetheless. Up here, I believe you learn a spell of some sort? Or perhaps not. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm on uh, 
the DMH mumble. Pardon me. Okay, guys, lesson learned. Rule number one, do not alt-tab out of Skyrim. It will lock your shit out. Now, that's covered. Now, we gotta fucking go into the fucking uh, dungeon or whatever the fuck this shit is. Oh, yeah, I got rid of the ice cream, finished that shit up, and I got some sun chips and root beer. You mad? As you can see, two dead rats, loot their bodies, you might get some shit there. The people down here will notice you eventually. Be careful, get your arms up, get ready to fuck up their shit. I'm just running across the wall just because I don't give a fuck. Right here. Some motherfuckers. Now you burn. Now you burn. Now you dead. I'm gonna take your shit. I'm gonna take your beef, nigga. Get the fuck over here, bitch. <laughs> Burnt out, motherfucker. Burnt out, motherfucker. Once you're done looting their bodies, take the chest. You're gonna have to lockpick this shit, so. There you go. Take everything's inside. Just walk across. Find what you need to do. These vase can sometimes be a good source of uh, stuff. Mostly it's like five or seven gold, so you shouldn't even bother. As you can see back there, there's two choices. I could have gone that way or the other one. I chose this way. Cause I don't give a fuck. Also, look at cabinets. Even if they're in the dark, you can find some good loot, like uh, potions and uh, yeah, nothing good here. Let's go on, shall we? Back here, you have the option to take this motherfucker out stealth. So why we're gonna get our little shank out, bust this motherfucker up. I think if you do that, it will actually kill him. So stay back and let it happen. Yup, he's dead. Fucking took that motherfucker out. Okay. That and that. You should get this, it's the same pattern. Snake. Snake and uh, dolphin. There you go. Shit opens up. If you put the wrong one, you'll end up like that guy. So uh, don't fuck around. The chest. Get more stuff. Any books with high value are likely to give you um skill up. You might as well take them too if you want to sell them to a vendor. Get out your little shank. What I like about Skyrim, though, is uh, you can you can shank on one side, burn the motherfuckers on the other. They'll just run away like some pussies. So you can loot their bodies if you want to. These skeever tails or whatever they are are no reason to though. So don't, I guess. What I don't like though. You shank with the left mouse button. But with the right mouse button, that controls your left hand. What the fuck? Um, this guy you see in the E3 playthrough, 
It's not, uh, it's the same guy, actually. Oh, I can go through. Oh, yeah, a spider. Come at me, bro. Now you're poison, but what some people don't know is you can actually level up, and once you level up, your health automatically resets to full, everything does. As you see, I'm all good in the hood. I have a bad feeling about this motherfucker. You gotta be careful, I have a bad feeling about this motherfucker. Oh wait, you already know what's gonna happen, right? Now he's gonna run away from you. Just wait until he ditches. Then he'll just die. Then you can take the claw for yourself and whatever you need from him. Oh, you can't loot that sword. Oh well. Just keep on passing through. You might have to encounter like some, uh, they're called draggers. These are the guys. You don't want to step here because that will enable that trap. Ah oh, shit. Ah, oh, sh double shit. Let him step on that. Then that will happen. They're slapped. The shit will get slapped. Motherfucker! Don't fuck with me! Okay? Yeah. Alright. Let me switch to a more suitable weapon. War axe or mace? I'm gonna take the ancient Nord sword. I think over here is a similarly uh, themed trap. Oh, this thing. What just happened? They're all gonna get cut up like little bitches. Okay! Get the gold. You can turn off the trap. Holy shit, how'd you get past there, motherfucker? Thanks. Bitch. Don't fuck with me. Alright. You can disable the trap. Get the shield. Anything else you might need. Then we continue onwards. I just wasted all my stamina for nothing. Now, if you see this over here, this water is reddish. This means you can cast a fire spell, and it's very flammable, in which it burns motherfuckers that come after you. Like this dumbass right here? Oh shit, there's two of them. When things get too hot, you might want to get a healing spell on yourself. Then you get a good, uh, a good ass sword, or a battle axe, fuck it. And that will knock his shit into next week. Stay good. Stay flossing, might not be problems. So over here, you gotta keep on going up. Should wait a minute to um, get back your endurance and all that stuff. Then when you're good, just continue onward. All right here's another Druger. Sometimes this is a wrestler's Druger spawn, which means he's a little bit powerful than he is the other one. But as you can see, he's dead. There's nothing to worry about. 
might want to take one of these too. Whatever's in here. You pull through here. Now, if I rem remember correctly, this uh, leads to a little hall with um, a magic. Uh... Oh no, never mind. You can actually jump down right here if you don't give a fuck. Surprise this motherfucker! Oh, he sees me, and it's a bitch too. You see, there's a bra on her. Well, now she's dead. What the fuck just happened? Alright, good. Down here, I think, is a chest. You can get this chest if you want. Otherwise, just don't bother. You need a lockpick, anyways. Fuck! There you go. Need that. Then you go back up. Take a break if you need to. I think if you stand still, you actually gain endurance faster. But I could be wrong. As you can see up here is the Druger. He's a restless, so it means he's more powerful than the others. Shit is slapped. You can actually look at all the other stuff he has. I like this one too. Fuck, I'm fucking shitty ass with these fucking lockpicks. There you go. We get version of the fire and everything else you might need. I leveled up to level three. Awesome. I'll eventually increase uh, Magicka and maybe Stamina, but for now, it's gonna be all good. Now, I think I already have a, another perk I need to increase, so we're just gonna wait for that. Yep. So, what I would recommend is go to Restoration and get that for half Magicka too, because you might need to heal yourself. Then enter Bleak Fall Sanctum. Look around, give a good examination. You're gonna have another one of those traps. I think you can. No, you have to go through here. If you fall into one of the traps, you only lose a certain amount of health. It's not really significant, so it's something to worry about. Slap this one shit, and then over here. Ooh, it looks like the Druger here is an archer. It means we have to be careful over here is a trap so if you set one of your traps over here or you put an arrow into one of those um things that look like uh, diver helmets you'll actually set a fire so you could do that or you could just set flame using your magic spells like this let them go through then sit their shit aflame And then they'll die. Right here, as I said, they're explosive traps. You want to stay away from them unless you're an archer or something. Alright. Run carefully. 
There's another words. I don't know if this is a definite trap or not, so let's see. No, these don't fall unless uh, someone shoots at them. Around here, I think, is this trapless? Yeah, I think you have to do um, a bear, this, and then, uh, yeah. All in reverse order, so there's nothing you have to worry about. There's no hints here, so uh, just assume your best. Yeah, no hints. Fuck it. Try that. See if it works. What the fuck? If you're wrong, it'll automatically guess for you. I suppose. Or whatever the fuck it is. Fuck it. Let's go. Whee! Over here is what I'm talking about. There's gonna be a uh, Druger Mage. So you might want to get your Endurance or, and or Magicka up. Because your presence and the bats there will most likely spook the guy. Build up your energy or look at this shit. You'll get your energy and all that. You'll learn the power. Oh, this guy's gonna awaken from a tomb. Blow his shit up. Hmm. You threw me off, motherfucker. Come get some. You might want to get into melee. Get out your steel ballax and fight this motherfucker. Motherfucking bitch. Yeah. This guy also has, has um, a stick, I think. But I'm going to just loot what I have from him. The dragon stone, the gold, the silver ring, and this ancient Nord greatsword. I think this is a two-sword, um, a two-handed sword. But I'm not sure, so I'm gonna check after I loot everything. Yeah, it's a two-handed sword. Well, it looks nice to have around. Now it's our goal to get the fuck out of here. I think it should be simple enough, considering that we went through all this fucking havoc. Just for a fucking dragon stone. The fuck that is. On a journey home... We actually didn't have to do much. We just fucking fast traveled to uh, fucking Whiterun. Said fuck you and the dragon, whatever it's called. Dragon stone or whatever that shit is. So let's do that right now. Right here, dragon's reach. You can fast travel. Fuck having to walk. And then turn the shit into him. Let's see what he says. Oh yeah guys, what I have noticed is that in Skyrim, all the fucking guards are Mexican. In Oblivion, all of them are like, stop right there criminal scum. That is what I miss. I wish I would hear that more often. What the fuck happened to that? Hey yo bitch, do I have to fucking slap your shit a little bit? Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. No oh, shit. So what about my reward? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. 
My All right. associate here will be pleased to see your handy. So your information was. All right, where's my y'all at? And we have our friend here to thank for recovering. Wait, wait, wait. Are you it? You're not the y'all. You're that fucking bitch I met earlier. Faranga, you need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. You should come too. Hi. How exciting! Where was it seen? Well, what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack right on it, I don't know if we can stop it. Where the fuck is the Jarl? That's all I care about. Let's go. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. So, Irelet tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you Wait, told you're me. the fucking I don't even want to hear you. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, it was fast, eh? Yeah, man. Jarry did not stop a nope. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I was traveling right Can you stop saying fast? Just say fast, you fucking beaner. We'll take it from here. We're down to the barracks for some food and rest. Burn it. Here it is. Better gather some guardsmen and get down there. Alright. I've already ordered my men to muster in the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. What? I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. What'd you give me? Iron boots? Alright. Oh shit guys, here we go again. I'm probably gonna upload this stuff in two parts. I'm gonna get this um, organized and then I'll make another one soon after.